be cut. All right. How y'all living? We are doing a mock draft right now, and I'm about to get this thing started so we can get it live. All right, I'm going from the third pick, from the third pick right now. And for you, for you guys watching on TikTok, I'll talk about the picks as they're going. How do you feel about drafting three running backs with your first three picks? For example, in a 10 team mock, I've gotten Saquon, JT, and Henry. Look, I'll say this best player available. If you can stack up on running backs like Saquon, JT, and Derrick Henry, you can find wide receivers later. I think the best player that's available is always the best strategy, right? I don't go reaching for positions. Never do I go reaching for positions. Let me turn the sound off and these notifications off. All right. So first pick was Christian McCaffrey. Tyreek Hill went next. So I'm either considering Bijan or CeeDee Lamb right here. And I think I'm just going to go with CeeDee Lamb. Just get the nice floor at the wide receiver position. Half point PPR, yuck. Yes, it's yuck. I know. But we got to do it. Yo, what up, Brody? Alex, what's good, dog? Gabe, how you living, my dude? How you living? Get your lineups lined up. Y'all like the intro still? Hey, a new intro may or may not be on the way. I ain't going to lie. In the eighth spot, you in the mock. Let's get it. Let's see. What team are you? That's Landon. I can't read that from here, bro. I need glasses. I need these damn glasses, bro. Landon. I see you, Landon. Uh, keep Laporta or Kyron. Yeah, I think I answered that one already. Keep Kyron. Malik Neighbors, though. You know, Malik, appreciate, appreciate you too, Marco. But when it comes to Malik Neighbors, it's not that I'm fading him. It's just at the ADP right now he's at. He's going as like a top 25 receiver. That's way too early. Way too early. Not her faithful was good. Was good. Was good. Yo, the comments. See, this is this is what happens with the comments. We start getting a little flooded and I can't get to them all. And then I got to make it member only. Man, I don't want to do that. At least not this early. It's going to have to be like that come uh, probably next month. How do I find you on Sleeper? Go to the YouTube. YouTube is the easiest way to find me. Go to YouTube, Justin Henry. And then in the chat, in the chat, it'll be uh, in the chat will be the link to the next one. I'll do the next one full PPR. You're actually awake for a stream? Yeah, we're going to do a 12-hour stream again. We're going to do a 12-hour stream. Just to let you know, I'm the 10th pick, and my Sleepy app is glitched. It's not loading for me, so it may auto-pick. Hopefully you got in, AG. Shiesty, hopefully you get in. If you if you auto-pick, man, it's all good. I'm ready for, AG, for Jayhan to hate my team. Yes, I'm going to hate your team. You probably got A-chan already, Kyron. Got CMC. Okay, that's you at the beginning. Brew bags. I see you. I see you. Uh, are you Chark or Chark or OBJ droppable as a dart throw in a 10 team dynasty? I think either one of them is droppable at this point. I'd probably be more willing to drop OBJ just because he's the clear three. The only thing is, if Tyreek or Waddle goes down, his value is crazy. DJ Chark is probably like the fourth, third, maybe second best option, like somewhere in there in a run heavy offense with Greg Roman and Jim Harbaugh. So, I think DJ Chark hasn't proven he's been valuable in years. Neither has OBJ. I'm not really like, if you dropped any of them as a dart throw, I don't think it really matters. What do you think of Keenan this year? He's the 1B. The 1B in Chicago. 1B. Or 1A, however you want to put it. I think DJ Moore and Keenan will be very close in fantasy. And you got to take DJ Moore like a round or two before Keenan. Evan Ingram tight end one after Laporta? Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell no. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. Sorry, I went back a little bit. I see you guys' questions coming in. I went back a little bit to, to get to them all. Who's ever got the fourth pick? You got to help me snipe, Justin. <laughs> uh, bro, that intro, like Kendrick, not like us to me. Every time I hear it, you got to dance or sing to it. Yo, I got to get a new one, though. It's time for a new one. It's 2024. My dude, Q, we got to get a new intro, man. A new intro. That 24-hour stream? Y'all want a 24-hour stream? How about we do a 12-hour stream? Y'all want to do a 12-hour stream? If so, when do you guys want to do that? You want to do that like this month or next month? I'll do a 12-hour stream. I'll do another one, not 24. 24 was a little too much for the boy. That was too much for me. Ant is so overrated. I think he's just a good closer. Ant is a good closer. And I think people, the reason why people like Anthony Edwards so much is because he steps up. He's like the old school kind of a throwback player. Reminds people a lot of like MJ, Kobe. He talks smack. He backs it up. And he's clutch. So I think that's why people like Ant. I don't think I don't think Ant is quite there yet as far as being like 
an elite player in the game. He's an elite person, like an elite talent. I think he's got a little bit more room to grow. Yo, boss, should I keep Bijan or Chase uh, in regular settings? Standard league, I'm keeping Bijan. Standard leagues, I'm keeping Bijan. Why is Marvin Harrison going so early? <laughs> Who knows, bro? Who knows? That was one of the more, I don't know. He's a top eight receiver right now on underdog. Top eight, which is crazy. AJ or Gibbs, uh, AJ or Gibbs. I'm going, I'm going AJ Brown and PPR leagues. And then I think Gibbs has opportunity though, to be right there with him. I probably would just go AJ Brown, but I'm not mad if you go with Gibbs. Not mad. All right. So Kyron went, you definitely didn't take my pick there, Cade. Oh, that's not you. You're behind me now. Uh, we got CD lamb already. I'm at, and this is my second pick right now. Second round. And for me, it's between Devontae Adams, maybe like a Josh Jacobs or a Derrick Henry. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass on the running back because I think I could get I think I can get a running back I like. So we'll go Devontae. Uh full PPR B genre chase. I'm going with Chase slightly. You like Taylor or Barkley better? Give me Barkley for the upside. Barkley for the upside. Jay Bissett, what's good, bro? What's happening? Keep A-Chan or Nico Collins. I think for the value, you could probably get more for A-Chan. I'd rather have Nico Collins in PPR leagues. I'd rather have Nico Collins. If I keep Bijan or Chase in full PPR, uh, I think I answered that one already. London or, or Marvin Harrison, I'm taking Drake London. Which Texans playmaker is the safest bet? To me, it's Diggs. A lot of people like Nico. A lot of people like Tank Dell. I think you're good either way. Are you a Puka believer? Some are picking him in the first round. Hell nah. Ain't no way. I don't believe in Puka like that, man. I think, I think, listen, I think he's a good second round pick, but I also think Cooper Cup's going to be way better than he was last year. Way better. Way better than he was last year. All right, I'm on the clock. <laughs> Kade, Kade, you're killing me, bro. You're killing me, bro. <laughs> That's all right. That is all right. We're going to take my boy Mike right here. We're going to take Mike. That's funny. What's up, brother? How you been? I've been good, bro. I've been good. I've been awesome. Appreciate you, Craig. Appreciate you. I appreciate the team reviews. I appreciate y'all watching them. Listen, the team reviews had so much information in them. Like, I hope y'all, I know it's a lot to watch, but I try to bookmark it all. So that way you guys can find your favorite players. If you haven't caught like any of the team review stuff, it's on the YouTube page. Justin Henry show, go check under like in the description of this video. There's something that says like 32 team playlist. Go through and watch a lot of the takes you guys asked me about. I've talked about in those team previews. So if you've had a chance to watch some, most, one of them, any of them, I appreciate y'all. Run up the likes and the comments on those things too, man. Purdy top five in the NFL? Hell nah. 12 hour stream is light work, do 24? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe one, one day. Yo, Justin, how early are you taking tight end in a tight end premium league? 10 man. Uh, I'm not reaching for one because tight end premium, it doesn't matter. Like the top five tight ends are all similar. They're all similar. Like Kelsey, Andrews, Laporta, McBride. Like it's all the like it's all the same shit. So I don't think I'm reaching on a tight end. I'm letting one fall to me. And I'm not, I'm cool with like Evan Ingram a little bit lower, Kittle, David Njoku, Kyle Pitts. I'm not reaching on, on tight end. How do I join the knock the next mock? It's gonna come in the, the comments. I'll be putting in the comments here pretty soon, actually. I don't trust Burrow to play a full season. I think Bijan could be number two. I don't trust Burrow to play a full season either, but you gotta, I mean, Jamar Chase is a talent and you can't predict injury. Bijan could get hurt too. Wick's about to be the next superstar. How if he's the fourth in line for targets? Who is Wick's past? Who is Dontavian and Wick's past? Like, that's the part I'm trying to get to. I've seen a lot of like Dontavian and Wick's hype this offseason. I don't get it. He hasn't passed Jaden Reed. He hasn't passed Romeo Dobbs. And he hasn't passed Christian Watson. How is Wicks going to be a superstar? I don't see it. What are y'all seeing that I don't see? This reminds me a lot of like Lad McConkey, the hype. It's like there must be a couple stats flying around about these players that says, oh, they're underrated. And it's like we kind of start to like over over rank these guys, bro. What is it about Dontavian Wicks? Tell me. You want his opinion on how do you think the Steelers did 
Uh, I don't know what that means. Next month, all right. Next month we could do a twenty-three hour stream. <laughs> twenty-three hours, a twenty-three hour stream, maybe, maybe. Not twenty-four though. Twenty-four is like death. And Trey, you you probably made it for twenty three hours of the stream, not twenty four. Javante Williams or Pollard, similar territory to me. Uh, to me, I'd probably rather have I'd rather have Pollard. I rather I think Pollard's going to be really nice this year, really nice. St. Brown at nine is crazy. That's hell. Of, that's good value down there, bro. That's good value. I'll say that. Good value. All right, let's. Y'all keep leaving my boy Kamara here for me, man. Y'all keep leaving Alvin there for me. Why is Allen ranked so high with no wide receivers this year? Because he's going to run. April, he's going to run. So when you get rushing yards, you get rushing touchdowns. Uh, Josh Allen, man, he's he did he's done it with no receivers before. So I think he's got a lot of, like, receiver talent. So you got Curtis Samuel there. Um, obviously, he drafted Keon Coleman, Khalil Shakir, and then uh, Dalton Kincaid. So he has receiver talent. He has receiver talent. Wick's about to go crazy. We're going to find out, man. Who'd you rather have in Dynasty, Bijan or Mahomes? Give me Bijan. Uh, unless it's super flex. And super flex, I'm taking Mahomes. You like running back or receiver round one better? Whatever one is there at the best position. Like, I, I take talent. I don't I do not do position. P was good, bro. He said, hell yeah, Purdy. Wick's to sell. What's good, P? My turn again, huh? You got Rashad White? All right, I see you with Rashad White. Let me get Mixon over here. Let me get Joe Mixon. I see you, I see you sniping. With Kamara, Mixon, I, I'm cool with this setup right now. Lamb, Adams, Evans, Kamara, Mixon. So for y'all not watching the mock draft, I'm at the 103 right now. I got CeeDee Lamb, Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon. This, sound, this is a typical j Hen squad. Typical j Hen squad. I'm actually really high on Marv this year. Probably the only rookie I've liked in the first two rounds. I don't mind being high on Marvin. It's just why would you take him over some others? That's the one thing is why would you take him over some of the other? Like he's going ahead of Devontae. He's going ahead of Mike. He's going ahead of Ayuk, Debo. Like just some of the more reliable names. DJ Moore, like, I don't know. Marvin is just really high for a receiver that is on a bad team and hasn't, you know, he's, he's a rookie, man. It's just, I don't blame you for liking it. It's just, I don't see the same ceiling as everybody else. My keeper league. What's good, Ali? Appreciate you, dog. Said in my keeper league, I can keep one of these four. Hall in the fourth round, DJ Moore in the fourth round, Tank Dell in the 10th, Sam Laporta in the 10th. Which one do I choose? I think this is easy. I think this is an easy one. And I'm keeping Brees Hall in the fourth. Brees Hall in the fourth round to me is a no-brainer. Like, DJ Moore, you're not doing that one. Tank Dell is good value, but you can find other Tank Dell-type receivers all season long. And then Sam Laporta, there's enough tight ends this year. Like, I think it's good value getting him in the 10th, but there's enough tight ends to where you can make up for that. You're not finding too many Brees Halls just chilling in the fourth round. Like, So to me, I'm, I'm taking Brees. Next up would probably be Sam Laporta in the 10th. That's how I'd play it. It'd be Brees Hall and Sam Laporta. But for now, I'm Brees, that's, that seems like an automatic no-brainer to me, Ali. Appreciate the question. Hot take, he's over Watson. He's the wide receiver three. Wicks over Watson. Uh, I don't know. Christian Watson, Christian Watson's played well. He just hasn't stayed healthy. So if he's healthy, y'all hear that shit about, about Watson and the, the hamstring? Like one leg was bigger than the other. That shit was crazy. Charles said, What are the locks right now? You want NFL locks or you want NBA locks? NBA locks. I don't have no NBA locks. I thought I would. I don't have nothing ready right now. Marv getting near 30% target share. How do you how do you figure that, right? You got you still got Michael Wilson, who was decent towards the end of last season. You got Trey McBride, who's going to command a lot. Kyler runs a lot. So I don't know how you're guaranteeing 30% target share. He will have a lot of – he'll probably have a lot of available targets, but they like Greg Dorch there too. So I think that ball gets spread out more than people think. Who's your favorite second-round pick this year? Hmm. I keep taking Devontae Adams for whatever reason. I don't know how he's falling to the second. I, I know how he's falling to the second. It's just it's an easy second second round pick for me. Um, yeah, it's probably Devontae Adams. I'm not gonna lie. Got AJ and Maserati. That's a good start. It's a good start. If you're gonna if you're gonna take Harrison, at least have a receiver like AJ to balance it out. Uh, let's see if Kenny Allen stays healthy, he could be a steal. Yes, I agree with that. 
when you have a dependable receiver like that, when you have a guy that can get you a lot of catches, just be a security blanket, it always helps a young quarterback, just like you said. Breakdown of Chiefs receivers. I did on YouTube is a complete breakdown of all 24, all 24, all uh, all receivers, all however many receivers there are on the Chiefs. Uh, but a quick answer for you, I think Rasheed Rice, obviously he's probably going to be out six to eight games. If he is out six to eight games, if I'm speculating, uh, I think the number one on that team is obviously Hollywood Brown. Then you're going to want, obviously Kelsey's the number one receiver for talking receivers for the team. Kelsey's the number one. Then Hollywood Brown, I think he's more boomer bust than we're giving him credit for. Michael Harmon re-signed. I'm not worried about him at all. Sky Moore, I'm not worried about him at all. I think Xavier Worthy is going to have some, some spike weeks. And then I miss. I feel like I'm missing one more receiver on the team right now. I'm missing one more that I can't think of. And it's my pick. Oh, nice Kyle Pitts right there. Nice Kyle Pitts. We're continue stacking up on these backs, baby. I'm going Aaron Jones here. I'm going Aaron Jones. But I have a full breakdown on the YouTube page. If you look at the Chiefs, Chiefs team preview, I, I have it all broken up there. I have it all broken up there. Snipe City, I see you, dog. Yo, Ali, appreciate you, dog. I appreciate you, man. He said, how much would you charge to draft? <laughs> how much would you charge to draft my draft? I'll share my screen on Zoom and you help me pick. If you do that at all, I think it takes out a little bit of the fun of like drafting your own team. And then there's obviously like management. I'm, let me make my pick real quick. And then I want to talk to you guys about the draft itself, because you don't need me to draft your draft. I'll say that. You don't need me to draft your draft and it doesn't guarantee anything. Quarterbacks. We got Burrow. Somebody got. Who just went right here? All right. Most and Nick Chubb. I got 20 seconds left. Hmm. We're going to go receiver. Reach on Terry real quick. Reach on Terry. All right, real quick, because I do want to answer this question. And this is, I think this is kind of important. Like when you go through your draft, just know you're not going to make every correct pick, right? So say I, I go and I do this draft right here. What matters more than anything is in-season management. So if a player gets hurt, you got to know how to manage that. If a player's going through a slump, you got to know whether to hold them or whether to trade them, right? Like sometimes you'll have a great draft and then mismanagement will fold that entire draft. Or sometimes you'll have a terrible draft and you'll pick up Puka Nakua, you'll pick up a Kyron Williams, you'll make some, some pickups that change the whole complex of your team. So I'll help anybody out with their draft. And, and I don't I don't know what that price tag is because am I helping out a $1 league or am I helping out a $100 league, a $10,000 league? Like there's a lot of nuances to that, right? But I'll, I'll say this. Your draft is not as important as you think it is. It's not. It's not. I've won with shitty drafts before and I've won, you know, I've lost where I thought I had the best team after the draft. So your draft, it's, it's a good foundation and starting point. But really what matters is how you adjust throughout the season because there's really only three weeks that matter. That's the fantasy playoffs. You got to get to the fantasy playoffs and have the best, the strongest possible team with the highest upside once you get there. That's how you win your league. That's how you win your league. So just to know. All right. Quick rundown of the squad so far for those watching on TikTok with me. We got CeeDee Lamb, Devontae Adams, Mike Evans. Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon, Aaron Jones, Terry McLaurin right now. How y'all feel about the team? Uh, should we look for players on big new contracts or players on contract years looking to get big? Uh, I think it's a combination of both, right? I think you're looking more for contract years and just know if they have a big contract, the team is going to use them a lot. So that's how, I, like a Josh Jacobs, a lot of people might be fading them. I know if the Packers are going to use them because they signed them to a four-year deal. So they're going to get the most out of them. One-year deals are more so prove-it years for players. And I would say players that are like in the middle of the of, the, of their contracts, it, it's like, especially if they're underpaid, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of them just for them to complain. But it is important to know contracts. You think the Jets, oh, has improved enough for Brees to perform? Brees was the number two running back last year. So I think Aaron Rodgers comes in there, helps. I think only in PPR leagues, he might be a little bit, he might not be as good in PPR leagues as he was last year. Because of Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers isn't going to check down the same way those other quarterbacks did. He's not.
Where are we at here? Team reviews were great. Good. In reality, Justin, I'm helping you to make your drafts become more flexible and make you have to try new players. Nah. I, I The thing is, yo, if y'all ain't learned, I any player can come on the squad. Any player. I'll take any player. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't have no attachments to these damn players. I don't be like, oh, I have to get this guy in my draft. Like, I just adapt. That's the beautiful thing. Like, if you are attached to players in fantasy, it, it'll ultimately be your downside. Because if you're like, I have to get this guy, everybody's been hyping him up as a sleeper, and you don't get him, it, and now it folds your entire draft. So, for me, I play really fluid, man, like water. Like water. David Njoku versus Jake Ferguson. Uh, give me David Njoku over Ferguson. Ferguson is a little uh, a little TD dependent, in my opinion. Dustin, do the hot pepper challenge again? Hell no. I did a habanero on stream last year. That was one of the dumbest things I could have did. Why is Derrick Henry going so low? Your guess is good as mine, T. Your guess is as good as mine. He should be going way higher, in my opinion. Probably because he doesn't get receptions, and a lot of people think he's getting older, so they want new players. I would say that's it. They just want new players. Am I up? I'm up. I am up. So we're looking at right now on the top of the board is Rishi Rice, Jordan Addison, Xavier Worthy, Chris Godwin, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, Deontay Johnson. I'm going Calvin here, bro. I'm going Calvin here. Going Calvin here. I got to grab a quarterback and a tight end still, but. Y'all let me. Yeah, y'all let me. Y'all let me stack this roster up. 10 team? Y'all let me stack this thing up. Justin, can you name your top five guys you're avoiding and top five you'd like to draft in every league? I'll have a video on that soon. I'll have a video on that soon. If I give you all that right now, we got a long summer, y'all. <laughs> we got a long summer for rankings, top fives, guys to avoid, sleepers. So, I, uh, you know, like I said, those team previews kind of probably give you a hint as to like some of the guys that I'm looking at drafting or avoiding. But we got a long summer, y'all. Plenty of content will be on the way. Plenty of content will be on the way. You need to get in one. I will be having a mock draft, another mock draft here in about five, whenever this thing's over, like five, 10 minutes. You can keep one for the year, Mike Evans, Kamara, or DK in the sixth round. I'll probably go Kamara or Mike Evans. It's your choice. I don't mind either. I don't mind either. Why aren't you high on Lad McConkey? He walks in as the best receiver on the team, says who? Who says Lad McConkey's the best receiver on the Chargers? Joshua Palmer's not there? Quinn Johnson wasn't taken in the first round? Team didn't sign DJ Chark. There's options. We'll go Javante here. Yeah, I'm just not high on him because of the offense. Greg Roman's offense. And Greg Roman's offense, Jim Harbaugh's offense, it's, it's not common to see more than one good receiver. So unless it's him, unless you're banking on Lad McConkey being the guy, I think it's going to be spread out a little bit more. That's all. What's up, Monstro? What's good, bro? What's good? Is it worth playing for money this year? It's always worth playing for money. Always worth playing for money. You taking Adams or Puka? I got Devontae. Full point per – I'll do a full PPR draft after this. Full PPR 10-teamer. Do you guys want to do a 14-teamer or a 10-teamer? 14-team or 10-team? I'll have more team. Oh, we can do 16. I don't care what it is. 10, 14, or 16? Y'all let me know. Low-key drafts barely mean anything. Everyone's team is balanced on paper. Exactly. Everyone, exactly, Trey. Drafts really don't mean a whole lot. Pace or Amon Ra? Chase or Amon Ra? I like Amon Ra's floor more than I like Chase's floor. Chase has a lot of upside, but I think Amon Ra has the same upside, just with a way better floor. How you feel about Swift this year? It depends on the Bears' offense in general, in general. Um, but I think he has some upside. I'm just not like, oh, if I got him like late as my RB3, I'm not tripping, but. I'm not really like big on DeAndre Swift as like a player I must get, you know. There's a couple other backs on the team. I think Khalil Herbert's still on the team, probably fighting for a job. Roshan Johnson's there. I'm just not really in on like they're gonna go through Caleb. They're trying to develop Caleb as a player. That's why they put all those pass catchers around him. So I can see Swift having a bunch of catches. I'm just maybe he's a value where he's at. I'm just not really interested in drafting him. Uh, let's see how much gifted for a one chip challenge on stream while you mock draft. How much y'all give me. I, I don't want to do a one chip challenge, bro. 
If y'all 500 bucks, y'all do 500, I'll do a one chip challenge on stream and a habanero. One chip and habanero, 500 bucks. That'll be fun. Y'all got y'all want to do 500? I don't want to do a challenge, bro. I don't. Uh, so there. Can I <laughs> can get one for this year? I really don't want to do one chip challenge, bro. Them motherfuckers, that blue. I'm just like, dog, your motherfuckers dying from that shit. I'm I'm cool, bro. The habanero was already too much for me, man. And I did that. I did that just because our thing was called halftime habaneros. You got me to the finals in one league and third place in another. Enjoy your takes. You got yourself there. Greatest. But I appreciate you tapping in. We're going to get another dub this season, bro. Can keep one for the year. I answered that one. Thoughts on Gibbs and Harrison? I think Gibbs is every bit worth his first round, uh, first round draft capital. Marvin Harrison's probably going to be reached on in your league. Did you draft Ricky Pierce on any draft? And thoughts on his production long run? He's going to need Debo or Ayuk gone to be valuable. I think that happens next offseason. My anticipation is Debo or Ayuk will be gone next offseason. But I think he'll be productive next year more so than this year. I didn't get him in any of my dynasty leagues. Can't wait for the player rankings. Yes, sir. Uh, I saw. I, I don't know if you got this one. I said Camara, Camara one A, Mike Evans one B, then DK. That's how I do it. Can't wait for the player rankings. They will be coming very soon, and it'll be tears. It'll be tears. It'll be tears. So we got 14, 12, 16, 10, 12, 12, 14. Anybody? 12, man, 14, 14. We'll do 14. Let's do 14. Let's do 14. Let's do 14. And it's my turn right now. All right. So let's actually, let's do this. I got two picks left. I'm going to grab my quarterback right now. I'm taking Jaden Daniels as my quarterback. Reaching. I should have grabbed Brock Purdy, but I took Jaden Daniels just for the hell of it. I should have took Brock Purdy. If I was drafting normal, I probably would have took Purdy, but I took Jaden Daniels for the sake of this. And then my last pick will be fun too. I don't know if it'll be that fun. Justin, I'm destroying your team if this is a real league. Don't cap around here. Why is no one picking Deshaun Watson? Uh, I just think Deshaun Watson is more of like a back in QB2, high in QB3. It's too many, too many question marks, and he didn't play well last year. You trust Morris to get Bijan the ball? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. Bijan is not Cadillac Williams, bro. So much different than Cadillac Williams. Where are you drafting Gibbs? Uh, after Bijan, Brees, and McCaffrey are gone. And Saquon. What do you see for Jettas this season, considering he just got the Brinks truck, but rookie QB? If it's Darnold, I think he could be a top three receiver. Even with J.J. McCarthy, maybe he slides down to fourth or fifth receiver, but he plays he plays well no matter who the quarterback is. We saw him with, who is it, Jaron Hall, Nick Mullins, Josh Dobbs toward the end of last season. So I think Jettas is QB proof. Calvin going to have a mass massive year? You talking Calvin Austin? Uh, avoiding a Chan Harrison, ETN. Yeah, this, those are some good avoids. We on the same page with those at ADP, avoiding those guys. All right, last pick here, last pick. Last pick for me is going to be a tight end. David Njoku or Dallas Goddard? I'm going to go David Njoku, but Dallas Goddard, I wanted to talk about him. He's actually a sneakier play than, than we think. I, I kind of like Dallas Goddard this year too as like a post-hype sleeper. All right, let me set up this other draft. You guys want me to rank these teams? Y'all want me to rank the teams? Mike Evans going off again this year. Every year he goes off. Every year he goes off. I'm going to make a new draft right now. If you guys want to get in, I'm going to do a 14-team draft. I'm going to post a link into the chat right now. And then I'll rank the teams really quickly, too. I'll rank the teams. 12 team, we got PPR, full PPR, 14 team, 60 seconds, uh, save. We got three receivers, a flex, three bench. All right, cool. Posting the link to the chat right now on YouTube. So if you want to get in the draft, head over to the YouTube, Justin Henry Show. I'm about to put the link here in the chat. Oh, I got to grab a spot. What spot should I drive from? What spot y'all want me to drive from? What spot should I drive from? 
Uh, let's see. I'm gonna draft from. I'm gonna draft from this ten spot right here. Ten spot. I'm gonna draft from the ten spot. The one. You want me to draft from the one? Q said the one spot. Should I draft from the one? Calvin Ridley, I was asking about, but you took 15 minutes ago. My bad, bro. I'm. You see, I got a whole bunch of shit on here, bro. I'm trying to get to it all. Free. I'll, I'll I actually just dropped a post about Calvin Ridley, and I think he's a, a hell of a value in the uh, like outside of the top 30 receivers. I think he has a chance to be top 15 this year. Stay at the 10. All right, I'll stay at the 10. I'll stay at the 10. I'll stay there. I don't totally understand waiting on QB and tight end. Um, I'll go through the teams. I'll tell you why. So, like, to me, Jaden Daniels has the same upside. He's not, like, Jaden Daniels isn't as far off of Jalen Hurts as, like, it, you took J somebody took Jalen Warren in the same round that I took Jaden Daniels. What do you think's further off? Jalen, uh, Jaden Daniels, all these Jadens and Jalens, bro. Jaden Daniels and Jalen Hurts or Jalen Warren and Alvin Kamara? Which one do you think has the bigger difference? Right? So, or like AG Shicey took Josh Allen in the third round, whereas Nico Collins went in the third round, right? If he would have waited and got, let's say, who's down there still? At quarterback. At quarterback, there's – oh, shit, who's still – I was trying to see who's available still. I think, like, Trevor Lawrence is still down there. Say he had got Trevor Lawrence versus Lad McConkey. You think that – which which one – which difference do you think is going to be bigger, Herbert and Allen or McConkey and Nico Collins? So that's why I typically wait on quarterbacks in single QB league. I like to stack up all the rest. And I, and I think depth is important too. So now, for instance, if I have an injury, if I have an injury to, let's say – Mike Evans gets hurt, hurt on my team, right? Now my backup is Terry McLaurin or Calvin Ridley. Whereas if I would have took a quarterback early, right? A quarterback, say I took a quarterback where McLaurin is, I'd only have one good backup. You feel me? Like, and during bye weeks too, right? So during bye weeks, say I have CeeDee Lamb and Devontae Adams both on bye. My three receivers now are Evans, McLaurin, and Ridley. That's, you get what I mean? Like, that's why I wait on quarterback. We could find CJ Strouds and Jordan Loves and Brock Purdy's and Tua Tunga Bailoa's and Dak Prescott's and all these other quarterbacks that play well. We could find that later rounds this year. Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, Justin Herbert, Jared Goff, who's always a top 10 quarterback. You could find value later at the quarterback position. It's tough to hit on receivers late in your draft, it's tough to hit on running backs late in your draft. That's why tight ends. I know I can get David and Joku, who's a starter. I can get Dallas Goddard, who's a starter. So that's why I wait on quarterback and tight end, especially in your more shallow leagues. Was that gems or was that not gems? All right. TikTok. I'm going to head out, bro. Hey, I'm going to answer the rest of these questions on TikTok and then we're going to get this draft. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Answer TikTok questions. I'm going to go over the draft. Then we're going to start the new draft. So if you want to, if you want to hang out, head over to the YouTube. Uh, where are these drafts at? The drafts are on YouTube. Justin Henry show. Got to subscribe. When do you think is the best time to draft? August after third week of preseason. 10 spot always in a snake draft. Love the double picks. We're doing 14 teams in this next one. Dallas got her to sleeper. I think at his draft, at his draft spot, he is. Uh, as an Eagles fan, I'm lower on Dallas this year. I just know it's camp, but I think Hurts lost a little. I'm not mad at that. I think the Cardinals finna do the season. Trash. <laughs> In, in NFC West is tough, man. And I just think the Cardinals are a young team. They'll figure it out eventually, but maybe they win six to eight games. I see that's their ceiling now. Uh, last pick is great. First person to select your two studs as long as they stay healthy. I'm not mad at that. How do I get on your mock draft? Already pick people. So the, is the draft even full? The draft is full. This one's full, but if you go to the YouTube page and turn on notifications, anytime my mock draft or go live, you can hop in. So. Uh, I dropped the link in the chat on the YouTube because I can't do it on here. All right, you, hey, TikTok, head over to YouTube. Justin Henry, show me on live for about another half an hour on. Actually, I could just chill on here. I could chill on here. But I'm just going to be focusing on YouTube for like the next five to ten minutes. So don't mind me if I ain't talking to y'all for a couple minutes. All right. JD5 is good, but I don't know. Let me go over the teams, and then I'll get to the comments on here too. All right, going over the teams. Boom, let's do this. Going over to teams. Uh, brew bags. Brew bags got CMC, Diggs, Waddle, Kelsey, Mahomes, Amari Cooper, 
Raheem Mostert, DeAndre Hopkins, Evan Ingram, Blake Corum, and Cortland Sutton. So I think this is a good team where you're kind of lacking is like that running back spot, right? So you got McCaffrey, but say McCaffrey goes down, you're stuck with Mostert and Corum right now. So I think addressing so – you got that stack, the Kelsey Mahomes stack. I'm not really a big stack guy, but I recognize it's a good stack to have. Uh, your, your running backs are just lacking, bro. You took a second tight end before you took a third running back. So to me, that that right there was a big move. Like you could have got Javante Williams, Brian Robinson, Zach Moss, like a better starter. And so that's where I would have changed that draft. Otherwise, this is, I mean, 10 team, this is kind of weak. I'm not going to lie to you. This is like a seven in 10 team. Uh, pick two, Justin's dad. Shaking my head. Uh, Tyreek Hill, Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, Keenan Allen, Rashad White, T. Higgins, uh, Nick Chubb, Najee Harris, Joe Burrow, Tyler Lockett, Jake Ferguson. This is a good team. This is a good, good floor team. You have really good running back play here. Uh, your receivers, your receivers are good. Maybe one more receiver, but in, in half point PPR, this will be fine. Uh, I actually like this team. This is a good team. This is an eight. Good job, Cade. This is an eight. This is an eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm gonna get this team an eight and a half for now. For now. Uh, CD Lamb, Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon, Aaron Jones, Terry McLaurin, Calvin Ridley, Javante Williams, Jaden Daniels, David Njoku. If Jaden Daniels hits, I don't see how y'all beating this team, bro. I don't see how y'all beating that team. Straight up. I'm going to give myself 8.9. 8.9. Uh, Tan Wilcoxon. I don't know if I just said something I shouldn't, but. Just, uh, Justin Jefferson, Kyron Williams, DJ Moore, Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, Kyle Pitts, David Montgomery, DeAndre Swift, Xavier Worthy, Keon Coleman, Brian Thomas. So you went all rookies there at the end. And you know how I feel about rookies, man. I'm, I just feel like stacking up on them. Maybe one of those guys hits, which is probably your intent. Uh, this team is decent. This looks like it might be a playoff team in a 10-team league. If we're going six teams, four teams is probably out. If Kyron hits the way he did last year, this should be fine. Dave Montgomery, too. But I give this one. I don't like it as much as Cade's team. This is like an eight to me. Machiavelli said A.J. Brown, Harrison, and Cooper Cup, Lamar Jackson, and Anthony Richardson, uh, Ramondre Stevenson, Brock Bowers, Zamir White, Brian Robinson, Christian Watson, Jamison Williams. So I think your, your wide receiver four is going to be such a question mark, and you already have Marvin Harrison, who's going to be somewhat of a question mark, Cooper Cup, somewhat of a question mark. Like, yeah, you don't really have like a solid backup receiver in case – Cup isn't what we thought he was, you know, or case Marvin Harrison is slow at the gates. And I don't think that's the case, but I'm just saying we have to play all the, uh, all the situations. And then taking two quarterbacks is always a no, no in a single QB league. And then Stevenson, Zamir white. I like your running backs. Could have went deeper, took a rookie at tight end. I don't like it. Uh, this is a seven to me. I don't like that team. Brian Robinson, oh, excuse me, Brian Robinson, B. John Robinson, Drake London, Travis Etienne, Michael Pittman, James Cook, George Pickens, Kittle, Hollywood Brown, Deontay Johnson, Jordan Love, Jerome Ford. The Twitter crew is here. You can always tell, like, the analytics, the analytics drafts. You can always tell. Um, I don't mind this team. The ATL stack there at the top. You got some good upside with Pickens late. Obviously, Jordan Love, getting him in that round was a good pick. Um, this team is closer to an eight. I like this team. This is a playoff team. This is a playoff team. Yeet Man got Chase Barkley, H got Barkley in the second good value. Devin Achan, Devon Achan, Devin Achan, uh, however we saying it. DK Metcalf, CJ Stroud, Tank Dell, Jaden Reed, Kincaid, Zach Moss, Jason, and Eckler. This is a good team, bro. Normally, I know you're ready for me to hate on your team, but I think this team is good. Tank Dell and Jaden Reed at the three four is the question mark there. Like you have to start both of them weekly, and both of them, like Tank Dell specifically, is just going to have so many spike weeks. Uh, I think you got JSN down there at good value. I get a this is an 8.2. 8.2. Landon got Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, the 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 New York stack. Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, Olave, Ayuk, Pacheco, McBride, Christian Kirk, Rishi Rice, Dak Prescott, Jonathan Brooks, and Gus Edwards. So your running backs are solid. Mm, 
And then receivers look good. This is a good team. I just don't see a lot of upside on this team outside of Brees Hall. Where's your upside? Like Garrett Wilson's pretty safe. Olave's pretty safe. Ayuk's pretty safe. Pacheco's pretty safe. McBride, we know what he is. Kirk's pretty safe. Rasheed Rice is going to be out six to eight games. Your only upside, Dak, we know what Dak is. Gus Edwards, we know what he is. I think it's a hell of a pick down there, though. But you don't really have a whole lot of, like, ceiling on this team outside of Brees Hall would be my thing. So I get it's like at 7.98. Amon Ross St. Brown, Jonathan's at the nine spot. Amon Ross St. Brown, Jonathan Taylor, Nico Collins, Debo Samuel, Kenneth Walker, Mark Andrews, James Conner, Kyler Murray, Chris Godwin, Jalen Warren, and Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, good receiver play. I like your running backs. This is a playoff team. This is a strong team. 8.4. 8. This is 8.4. Between this one and Cade's team, I think, are my two favorites that aren't my team right now. And then A.G. Shiesty here at the end, you got Jameer Gibbs, Puka Nakua, Josh Allen, Sam Laporta, Zay Flowers, Malik Neighbors, Romo Dunze, Tony Pollard, Jordan Addison, Lad McConkey. <laughs> You went all young young players on purpose, huh? The all-rookie team. Yeah, I hate this team, bro. This is like a 7.5. I, I get maybe you got some value with these guys, but you went all young players on purpose, bro. It's, yeah, I'm not feeling this squad. This is like a 7.2, 7.1, something like that. <laughs> How y'all feel about the rankings? Did I do it justice? Did I do it justice? Yo, appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to head over to YouTube to do the rest of this. I appreciate y'all, though. I appreciate y'all.